This is Mr. And what I have for you today is day number 186 of my Town Hall 11 journey. Have a look at my builders up the top there. Five out of six builders are free. All of my collectors and mines and pumps have been upgraded max. Well, what's going on? Let's have a look what the builders are doing. Let's have a look how many wall pieces I've got to go. And let's do that from the upgrade base. As you can see here, it's very hard to see what's actually what. We'll go to the upgrade base. We'll have a look there. And then we'll check out the builders. Okay, so upgrade base here. Have a look at the walls up the top. As you can see, even though I've been going in a line from one point to the other, the walls are a little bit scattered in how they're actually going. Doesn't matter. Let's have a look what I've got going. What's the builder doing and how many wall pieces do I have left? Day 42 of the wall grind. I started with 199 walls. Was it 199 walls? So I'd managed to do down to 199 left to go. Let's have a look. How many left? 25 wall pieces down the bottom there. 25 wall pieces. So the last time we had a look, that was last week's video. I had 54 wall pieces to go. So I've done 29 wall pieces since last week. And at some point, which is a little bit over a day ago, I realized I was doing three wall pieces a day. And I, was, I had uh, roughly 33 wall pieces to go. And I thought, well, if I wait too long, I'll end up having all this extra loot and not being able to attack because I'll have maxed everything and I'll be waiting on my town hall to finish. So what I did was I just did some raids, kept doing wall pieces, and then once I had enough of the town hall, I've pressed the button on the town hall upgrade. I did that a day ago, and now I have 10 days left to go. With 25 wall pieces, that's an average of two and a half wall pieces a day for the 10 days. So that's plenty easy, easy peasy. That'll easily be done. And in terms of the season, I have 14 days left to go. And eight of those 10 wall pieces left to upgrade as well. 14 days left to go, which means 14 days and eight hours, which means considering that the town hall has 10 days and eight hours, I will have four days left in this season when I hit Town Hall 12, at which point I'll be able to get out the Inferno, the Siege Workshop, and whatever else. I think there was some, uh, some traps and a big bomb and some things like that come out as well that are extra, extra Inferno. And I'll probably place them all here. The big bomb will obviously go there. I'll put the Inferno here. The Siege Workshop, if I can get it here, I'll get it there. Otherwise, I'll just sort of bump everything across so it can fit in place or something like that. I'll figure out what I'll do with it when the time comes for me to place it onto the upgrade base. And this is the upgrade base. So I might as well stick with it because it's pretty easy to just juggle things around and just keep an eye on it this way. So there we go. That's the... I know I talked about my cunning little plan previously about timing the walls and getting the upgrade but this way I'm figuring I'll probably have the walls done with uh, what I've done 29 walls in a week and so I've got 25 left to go now which means I'll probably finish the walls with say two to three days left on the town hall upgrade that gives me two to three days to build up the loot so that once the upgrade drops, I'll be able to hit it. Now also, have a look at my Dark Elixir. Now you'll remember two videos ago, or two upgrade updates ago, I was at 435. And the last video was 385. And now have a look at how much Dark Elixir I've got. 325,000. And have a look at me getting smashed every time I'm getting smashed five six seven seven nine thousand dark elixir that one got none 
8,000, 7,000. I am getting absolutely pulverized on the Dark Elixir side. I'm just like I've lost 60,000 since the last video. So 50,000 in that first one, 60,000 this time. And I've got 10 more days to go. And at this rate, at $7,000 a smash with 10 more days to go before the Town Hall upgrades, I'm looking at seven anywhere between seven. Seventy and a hundred thousand dollars, hundred thousand more dark elixir to get raided out of my base. Now, whether or not that's all out of here or includes the dark elixir drills, I can't say. Except to say, I'm still going to get absolutely smashed on the dark elixir, but there's nothing I can do about it. I do have an instant hammer. I could finish this. However, I want to use the instant hammer on the lab. That way I've got two spells I can instantly upgrade. I've got a spell in the reward path here somewhere. Uh, where are we? Somewhere the, the Book of Heroes I've got. There I've got a Book of Spells in the reward path. But I've also got a Book of Spells in the magic items already. So once I've hit channel 12, I'll be upgrading the lab and as you can see I'll be able to do two spells which are what's my lab level anyway it's level 9 okay so I'll be going to level 10 so you can see here I've got these three I can do for five spells I can upgrade five spells instantly however I've I'm Using the Dark Elixir for the Queen, I'll be upgrading her because I, I've already got a crown and there's two crowns in my reward path. So I'm going to be grabbing those crowns. So this Dark Elixir is definitely safe for the Queen at the moment, which means these two spells will be the most likely ones to get upgraded instantly. Oh, I've got three. Oh, that's a Dark Elixir spell. Sorry about that. So I'll use the Elixir spells most probably. If I change my mind, I change my mind, and then all I need to decide is which troop I'm going to upgrade first out of all of these. Do I upgrade my air troops like I did the first time, or do I take Town Hall 12 and upgrade the Witch, Bowler, Ice Golem sort of combo or hogs or whatever? I've got 10 days to think about that because I also have an instant troop upgrade as well. And I've probably got, let's see, if I have an elixir rune, I'm not sure if I do. No, I don't. So I will be partially limited to what I can upgrade uh, in those sorts of terms, how much I can loot here in readiness. That is, I'll fill this 10 million, no problem. But then how much will the troop cost to upgrade even with this discount? And then how much will I be able to save by using the instant spell upgrade sort of thing? Like how long will it take me to get enough loot to then drop that instant spell upgrade and then upgrade the next one instantaneously, instantaneously from there? In any case, that's all I've got for this video. I'm going to switch back to this before I forget because I've done that once before and then I got smashed again. Basically gave away all of my loot. So there we go. As you can see, the base is almost completed. I've only got 25 wall pieces left to go. It's hard to see where they are in this base. I've got these ones here in the little corner. I've got some down here in this little chevron shape and a couple of little odds and sods ones like there's one there as well. And that's why the upgrade base is so good because if I think I've done all the wall pieces and I can't find it, I can just go to the upgrade base and I can find it that way. In any case, that's all I've got for this video. If you have any questions or comments about my upgrade journey, 186 days so far and I'll be finished before it's 195 days. That is, before, well, before 193 days actually, before the next one, before next week's upgrade. I shall have been finished and once I do actually finish with these wall pieces I will do a video saying Town Hall 11 is now complete so you do have an idea of exactly how many days it took me to complete Town Hall 11 with non-stop builders and non-stop lab using 
the gold pass. All that's left to say is thanks for watching.